Just, I think first and foremost, I'm always curious. Like, what's the response? I mean, obviously, there's a letdown last week. Um, I see you guys as a team that prefers to play with his back against the wall. Mm -hmm. Now you got something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I think it's pretty obvious every time we take a loss, we really um, rebite and, and play our best games coming off that loss. Um, you hate that it has to come to that to be to play as good as we do sometimes, and then uh, you just wish it could go all the way through. But I think it, it is a a big motivator um, coming off last week and trying to get back on schedule for the season we want to have. So. What Coach, you talking about the athleticism of the front seven. What did you see on film? What can you give insight? Can you give us on what they do? Yeah, I mean they're they're very stout guys. Uh, the inside three are really good players. Um, I, we think the linebackers can move really well, uh, and I think this is a game we have to win up front, um, and that's something that the O line takes pride in, as well as like the whole run unit. Um, and I think running the ball is a really a big part of uh, our plan to win this week. This week. So. What have you seen out of Tyler Brable so far? What makes him a great team man and player? Oh, yeah, Tyler Brable is one of my best friends. He's uh, just an all around good kid. He's very funny and uh, hard worker. Um, he can be a little childish sometimes, but that's just, he's still young, so um, I, I, he's, he's just a hard worker, really good kid, um, wants to do right by everybody on the whole line, and that's something we hold him accountable for uh, as a player and just as a person in our room. How do you think his unique upbringing has helped shape him into the player he is now? I, I mean, his dad was a great NFL player. He's an NFL coach right now. Um, he really, I think that put something into his work ethic, uh, being around a guy that played so many years in the NFL. And, that really had success at the next level. Um, it kind of gave him a blueprint of what to do and how to do it. Uh, and I think that kind of helps everybody around him be a better player too. And it's just his worth it, work ethic and um, like his drive to be from his, that he gets from his dad and like that blueprint helps us too. Were there any indications before the season that the line would come together as much as it has or be as consistent as it has so mm -hmm. far this season already? Yeah, I mean, we really, we, we've had guys, like, we've trained all these guys together for as long as I've been here. I mean, uh, that was this was pretty much the two line when I got here um, my freshman year. And then we started moving people around. And then all, all through spring ball, we kind of started getting a feel for really how we were as an offensive line and, and who we were. And then obviously you want to get those game reps that really, like, teach you to melt together. And that, I think we got those really early. Um, and that's something that really goes into our chemistry right now. So it is really nice to have, uh, even though we lost two, a couple guys, like we, we have a new set of guys that really does a good job uh, filling, not even filling in, just creating their new spot and being part of the new O-line that we have, uh, which is, I believe is pretty dang good. So. Well, I know, I think John uh, obviously put out a couple weeks of great yeah. apps. Uh, yeah. But I'm assuming that's probably a really close race. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, we have most of the time we're all, all above. Every game so far we've been above 75. Every person on the line, which is pretty good. Um, we'd like to see those numbers all become over 80, 85. But uh, you know, John's our leader, and he does a really good job playing on the field and, and also leading us as a as a unit. So I think that some, speaks to him as a as a player, but not but not only as a player, really as like a leader and, and a. Somebody that we can look up to. And what are the grades based on? Oh, uh, just. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's like however many plays you play, you get pluses or minuses, and gotcha. then like, gotcha. you can get a double plus or a double negative, which is like a misassignment or a POA will, will be a double, double negative, and like uh, knockdown is like a plus block. So. Did you visit Rutgers? Or were you ever considered them? Or yeah, I mean, Rutgers was in my top three all through recruiting. Um, they're my home school, and I really. Took a hard look at them. Uh, at the end of my decision, I really felt like this was a place for me rather than at home. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely had a lot of interest in Rutgers through the recruiting process. Was Shiano there? No, no. Oh. I, I had uh, um, Coach Flood and then Coach Ash. Oh, okay. Recruited me, yeah. What tipped it? Hmm? What tipped it? Um, the people were a big part of it, like the kids on the team, and then uh, like really just the. Uh, atmosphere here. I really love the academics here and uh, I think uh, the football program is history really well and I, I really like the way that we run uh, our football team and uh, I think that was a big part of it. What are you expecting this weekend? What, what, what are we expecting? Yeah. I mean just not like yeah, yeah. like well I mean I'll have a lot of family there and I think everybody 
it's from New Jersey will play really hard. Um, and again, like everybody from Rutgers is going to play really hard because we got so many New Jersey guys. So I think it'll be a physical game um, and a really just a hard-nosed football game between two uh, teams from the Northeast. So.